All righty. Well, now it's time for not the most important event, but the main event of the wrestling section of the program, Brian, for the IWGP title, the real world title around here, around this joint. The Japanese have taken over. First, it was the goddamn motorcycle industry. Now they've come for the wrestling. The new IWGP title holder, Plumber Moxley himself, against Powerhouse Hobbs in another of Moxley's delusional self-masturbatory fantasies that he can beat physically any one part of one half of Hobbs with the other half helping him. So the new AEW world champion took 15 minutes to beat Kyle Felcher by the skin of his teeth in a preliminary match on the program. And now the plumber in much less time than that is going to basically just choke this choke giant, out. giant muscle bound choke beast out. out in the middle of the fucking ring. Ridiculous. Ah, he look, he is so insanely up his own ass is plumber Moxley that he looks in the mirror and believes I should be choking out powerhouse hop if there's video going around of any wrestler getting choked out in entry-level shit in competitions they shouldn't be allowed to use this stuff in the ring no it's the videos are going around so the idea like you said i'm sure hobbs could probably handle himself really well in a fight but hobbs is going to get choked out by this guy those getting choked out by that guy in the video well that means that the fucking papa john's delivery guy that choked out moxley in the amateur jiu-jitsu tournament ought to be able to make Cobbs his prison bitch doesn't it i don't know if that's how it works i don't know how prison got into this but well it does as soon as you go to work for papa john's you're gonna find out kid well i'll tell you what powerhouse hobbs is in the prison of bad booking and he never ever ever no matter who's managing him no matter who he's with he never could leave it. There's a guy, I want to know when his contract runs out, because he needs to get as far away from AEW as he can. He's never going to learn anything having garbage matches with a buggy whip arm, bald-headed wino. And as long as these indie-minded goofs over there act like Moxley is somebody and treat him like somebody who knows how to lead a match or have a match at this point, you know, that because you know Hobbs is not going to say, well, hey, Moxley, <laughs> maybe we can do a little of this. No, it's going to be Moxley's bullshit that Moxley does. It looks like a pro football player fighting a fucking homeless guy that just stepped out of a tent. Yeah. And within 90 seconds, they're on the floor and over the rail and out in the arena, and it looked like two drunks having a fight in a swimming pool. And they stayed out there for almost three minutes while the referees and the fans stood slack-jawed and stared at him. It just didn't because he, Moxley, meaning he, cannot do anything else. And he thinks it's good for some reason. And this is where they crash to the break with Tony in mid-sentence. And just suddenly, boom, and it's picture in picture. Shivani never sounded better. It was a. It was actually an acne commercial, I think. We were clearing blemishes off the screen. So then uh, they came back, and, and that's Moxley put Hobbs in the corner. You know where they get up on the turnbuckles? They got the guy trapped in the corner, and they sometimes the baby face will do the ten punches, and the people will count along or whatever. That position, right? Moxley punched him forty-eight times. The last 20 or so, he was just swinging both fists over the top of Hobbs' head without even worrying about whether they were near contact or not. Death jitsu. If that must be it. It must be the wind generated from the goddamn stank of his underarms when he flails his arms about that disables his goddamn opponents. And then... <laughs> He fucking gave Hobbs, he punches him in the corner 48 times, as I mentioned, about the last half or so, making no contact whatsoever. And then he double-arm DDTs him, his finish, and gets a two count. And then he just rolled over the top of him, put the choke on him, and the ref choked him out, the referee stopped it. Uh, uh, that's what I had to say about that match. And we get the big challenge. So Moxley could be another talented guy who's getting held down. Moxley versus Takeshita. 
Oh, was that who he was saying is was a fucking dead man? Takeshita is challenging Moxley now. Okay, well, because when he was look Moxley, meaning he was looking at the camera and screaming, but you couldn't hear it. Uh, the only thing I heard was fucking dead man. And I thought, well, yeah, but you're an unprofessional fucking drunk. So there's that to look forward to. Hey, yeah, yeah.